from the Mind of Critic, May 23rd, 2020. If we're here today and gone tomorrow, how can we ensure each moment is spent continuously illuminating and enlightening our soul? How can we handle interactions so they're exactly what they're supposed to be and can teach us what they're supposed to teach us? How can we garner our reactions towards the positive so the negative doesn't skew in events results? How can we allow love, kindness, and gratitude to guide us through the low times when we feel less than? To love and be loved is what all of us humans strive for. Sure, we, for we can forget this from time to time, feeling like we still want it, but don't deserve it, or that it's only meant for others. This is when fear, ignorance, and self-loathing conquers critical thinking, imploring us to unload that pain, ASAP, even if that means dumping it on somebody else. The pain may lessen temporarily, because fleeting happiness does make us feel good momentarily. But the pain does swing back, with vengeance. The sooner we realize love is meant for all of us, even if we don't currently have it in the form we want. The sooner we stay present in the moment and appreciate each moment's true beauty. How do we handle interactions, events, and ourselves while learning lessons, staying positive, and allowing in kindness? How do we find what we're looking for, whether it's love or success? How do we love, how do we love ourselves so we can love others? Really simple. We stay in the moment so clues, signs, and truths can locate us. How do we stay in the moment? We be here now. Remember to like and share this video and hit the subscribe button. Links for all my social media, my website, and where to buy my books are in the description below. Love and gratitude will find a way. We just have to keep the conversations going. See you all soon.